Hey, what's going on guys? Thank you for clicking on the video today. Uh, good morning. Happy Champions League Day. It is Champions League Day. So, got some important things to talk about today um, with you guys. Obviously, I've got some things to discuss market-wise. It's going to be a pretty market-based video today, guys, because there's a lot of ups and downs going on with the market. There's a lot of things we got to talk about for this week. Uh, if you guys enjoy the video, drop a thumbs up. And thank you to you guys for the guys dropping the thumbs up. There's been over a thousand likes in like the last five videos. So, thank you guys who's been who have been supporting uh, the channel. So, uh, I did really well yesterday, guys, in the sell-off. There was a big sell-off yesterday. A lot of people were buying. A lot of people were selling. There was a lot going on. So, I made a lot of coins yesterday. But... Uh, I did only sell like 10 to 15 cards overnight, and I got, I, I've kind of, guys, I gotta be honest with you, I've kind of been stuck with a few cards. Now, we get a few sales there, so I, I bought a bunch of Messies and a bunch of Neymars yesterday, and I want your guys' help. I want you guys to tell me what you guys think I should do, because um, I'm not sure what I should do. So, here's the dilemma, right? I bought, well, first of all, let me show you something. I want to show you guys my failed investments. I want to show you stuff that didn't work, and, and I actually do lose coins because everyone accuses me of only making coins. And I bought a, I bought eight ride cards for the Van Dyke link, right? And it seems like he's gone in the other direction because people sold him for Van Dyke. So that didn't work out at all. <laughs> I'm stuck with this. And then I got screwed because on Saturday, look at what I picked up, guys. I want to show you guys my thought process in terms of why I picked up Messi. So I bought three of this striker card at 124 and 125. And so I bought them right here. So take a look at this, guys. Look at how juicy this looked. It was on Sunday. Uh, he was like 1-5 in the morning, and this is where I picked him up. That hour right there. And you know what, guys? I just I just didn't sell him, man. I've, I've only sold one. I got out of one at 1-3, which is like literally break even. And the other two, I'm kind of, kind of struggling with. Another card that I have, which I just got out of one overnight, which I got out at 1997. I had this card. I bought two at 191. So I took a 10K loss on one of them. I have another one still I'm trying to sell. And then the real, real one I'm getting screwed on is this one. I bought three of this guy on this date right here for 125 to 129. And now he is 1197. So I wanted to ask you guys what you think I should do with this card. Should I sell it before rewards to reinvest it? Or should I just hold it for the weekend to not take the loss and get the money? Because you guys do have to understand, Neymar goes up every weekend. So I don't know, maybe I should ride this one out till the weekend time and see if then we can get a sale. Um, we got to take a look at another card too because guys we got losses all around the board man Like I'm telling you we made a lot yesterday like a lot But now we've got to fix figure it out with losses So I have a bunch of this one at 750 to 770 is why I have three so got to figure that one out as well But anyways guys, that's beyond the point now Champions League is today uh, I X Spurs is on I believe today whoever wins this matchup uh, is gonna have their live card explode Just remember um, it is only one matchup here. There's two legs so just keep that in mind. Don't be don't be going crazy. I know how you guys work. Sometimes you guys go crazy uh, when a team wins one leg. Don't do that today. You guys know better. Um, but yeah, that that's something to keep in mind that we do have Champions League on today. Um, what I recommended doing, and this is what I talked about uh, a little while back. What I recommend doing, guys, for Champions League is I would stock your club if you haven't already for today's games. Uh, maybe look at doing it for tomorrow's games. The, the real move that I was thinking of telling you guys is to maybe stock your club with like a player uh, a player from each of the teams or like a, like like most of the team because what's been happening is that when when a team plays well that's popular and you've got a lot of popular teams in this league, I'd say the only one, I mean really Barca and Spurs and Liverpool and Ajax, all these teams, all these teams are really popular. So I think whoever does well today, you're going to see people after the games today come on the foot and buy players from these teams. We've seen it. Week in and week out, guys, we've seen it with the Ajax players where we get in, we get on after a game, and Ajax has a big game, and you know the the Ajax players are rising like triple in price, you know stuff like that. So that's something that I have seen as a trend that's been going on with the market, um, and so that's been really interesting. Today, guys, we were supposed to get a blue resupply. Um, most likely, it's it's likely that EA is going to do one of those blue SBCs. Uh, if you guys did the club stock with me the other day, good good looks. You guys are probably making a lot of coins. Um, some of the golds have now gone down, so if you haven't sold them, you can just ride them out. That's kind of what I'm doing. Um, let's talk about the blues, right? Because a lot of people are asking me, Nick, what are we doing with the blues? What's going on with these guys? You know, look, they're up, right? Like a lot of these blues are up in value. You can see the price of these. I'm going to tell you guys this right now, and I know this sounds like very like, this is just interesting to say. I didn't stock my club, guys, with blues to sell them for like 3K, and I, I don't want that to come across in a certain way that it does. So even if these guys get resupplied today and tomorrow, like a guy like Drax was 13K, 
I just don't really care. I'm too lazy to go through right now, guys, and sell all these cards. I, I really am. I'm only going to sell these cards like if we actually get a legitimate SBC with the premium upgrade. But to be honest, wow, these guys are actually up a bit. I, I would say this, guys. If I had transfer space, I may, I may consider selling these cards. So it's up to you guys. Um, yeah, Bauman's 9K. Wow. Well, you know what? I'm actually making like 4K on every one of these cards. So I, I think in a normal, I think if I had some transfer space, yeah, I might go ahead and sell these cards. I don't really know how much higher they're going to go. They're pretty much almost maxed out in price. Like, because CS is what price? So that, that's got to be up to you guys, man. If you guys want to take the money before the SBC, I'm coming out to tell you guys right now that I am too lazy. Um, I'm too lazy to go ahead and sell these. I, I just don't care. Um, I didn't stock these in my club to sell for 1K. But I didn't really realize that they were actually up a bit. They are actually up a bit. So, yeah, I mean, you've got about 3 to 4K on each card. If you want to take it, you can take it. They'll probably be resupplied today, uh, in my opinion. And I'm not sure if we're going to get that UCL premium upgrade. What I will tell you is that if we do get that upgrade today, that SPC, uh, all these guys are going to rock it. All of them. Literally all these cards, guys. If we get that SPC, because you've got Team of the Knockout Stage now available in that SPC, you're going to see a lot of these cards that do really well in price. I'm just kind of giving you guys a heads up. So that's got to be the risk that you're willing to take. If they do get resupplied, you guys know what to do, man. You guys could pick them up again, do a club stock. You guys could do it tomorrow even if you want to do it tomorrow. Because usually if they'll supply it today, they'll supply it tomorrow. Not really sure if we're going to get that premium upgrade today. People have been asking me. I have no idea. Uh, really, really, it's, it's too hard to know where EA is at in terms of what they're going to do. Um, so, yeah, that, that's probably what I would tell you. Now, birthdays, right? A lot of people asking me about foot birthdays. Um, foot birthdays are going to be great pickups for rewards this week. They were the same thing last week where they go really low in the earlier part of the week. Once we get to Wednesday, they start to pick up a bit. And then they're, they're banger time by the time, we get to the, by the time we get to the weekend. We've got uh, Marcelo looking super viable. Coutinho looking super viable. We've got a lot of cars that look really viable right now, guys. Aubameyang, Sané looks really viable. I have a few Sanes. Kyle Walker's center back card looks ridiculously viable. I'm going to take a look at that right now. See if there's a 260 on the market. And I'm going to give you guys the heads up. Usually what we get today, guys, when we do, if we do get the uh, UCL SBC, I'm giving you the heads up that usually when this SBC comes, guys, we do end up getting uh, some market panic. People tend to, I don't know what the deal is, but yeah, when we do get this UCL SBC, it, it look, from, the, from the looks of it in the past, people tend to sell off their teams. People tend to sell stuff. I don't know why they freak out, but they do freak out. So that's something that goes on. Uh, with all this stuff when we do get SPCs and things like that. So I'm trying to figure out where this Martial is uh, in price. Is it under 200K? Because if it is under 200K, we may take a stab at it. It is right now 199. I think I'm going to pick that one up. I think I'm going to get that one for rewards. Um, okay. Sun is 378. So yeah. And I would say another thing today is that Sun, Sun Headliner is really interesting. Sun Headliner is rising right now. He's not playing today. So that may go down a lot today, and you may want to take a look at that because Suns Headliner is a good card to still be in with Champions League extending. Just all depends on what's going on with, with his injury and, and how that plays out. Sun, Sun for birthday is like 380 right now. Okay, so that's fair enough. Okay, guys, so in my opinion, we are going to get to a certain level where when there is an announcement for team of the season, I don't know when this announcement is going to be. I don't know why EA is playing this stuff so much. Literally, it feels like EA is never going to announce team of the season. Um, I have no idea why. Um, but yeah, it, it they really... Are delaying the hell out of this right now i don't know when it's going to come my guess is this for team of the season and i know a lot of you guys like are constantly wanting to know when this is coming my guess is that on friday they're going to announce it you're going to have a really bad period of panic guys from like sunday night to like next thursday to friday and i think by the time we get to next thursday the market is going to be so low that it's going to start to go up i think on thursday it starts to go up and then Friday morning, it's going to go down before Team of the Season actually starts. Now, what you guys are going to start with for Team of the Season, if you don't know already, is Most Consistent and EFL. That's how Team of the Season kicks off. Those two leagues are the ones that you start with. Um, to me, they're not that relevant. So what you will see is a lot of the top tier cards probably rising. Um, you've got another week, in my opinion. Wow, that's so low, man. Modric's 215. You've got another week of Team of the Year's dropping, in my opinion. It's just going to happen. There's going to be one more weekend of people selling these cards. Uh, in my eyes, that's how it goes. Um, I don't know how much lower, though, if you guys kind of get where I'm at. I saw they had 839 last night. I passed on. I just don't know how much lower some of these cards are going to get because some of the... Wow, Nay is this low. Whoa, Nay is low. Um, some of the top tier meta stuff right now is just is like absolutely insane with how low it's getting. So... You get to a certain point where 
how low is it going to go, you know? So today we've also, I would say today is a good day for any of you guys that are trying to last minute uh, get into some of the Team of the Week cards. Um, today is the last day that they will be in packs. Today will probably be the lowest they will be. You have to see at 1 o'clock if there's a supply. Um, but some of these cards may definitely be good pickups before they go out of packs. Just giving you guys the heads up on that. This Team of the Week is extremely under undersupplied. So even though we are heading into a, a definitely an uncertain time of the market, I still do like a lot of this team of the week. I like Royce a lot. I think Royce, even with the headliner, is going to go up. It's a very rare card. Um, so I have good feelings about that card going up out of packs. Yeah, guys. I mean, look, it's going to be it's going to be very interesting to see what EA brings at us this weekend. Uh, are we going to get anything on Friday, or is it going to be a dull moment? We really haven't had content, guys, besides um, Player of the Year and Young Player of the Year. Like, we really have not had content in a long time. Um, it's been pretty dead on FIFA in terms of what we've been getting and what we haven't been getting. Um, so yeah, I don't really know what's next. I was talking about this in my video yesterday. This 12 days remaining thing makes me think that that's when team of the season is actually coming. But again, right? It's impossible to know exactly when team of the season is coming. If I were you guys right now and I wanted to make coins on this game, I would be looking through a bunch of players on open bid, um, every hour, just going through, looking at cards, trying to get deals on bid. People are buying in this market. So maybe you're looking for a card right now that's on a low for an hour and then you pick it up back when it's on a high. Like, I'll give you an example of a player that I trade religiously. Um, and this would be Ben Yedder's uh, inform. This guy goes up and down throughout the day more than I've ever seen a car go up and down. He goes back and forth all day. Uh, where is his 86? This guy goes between 135 this week specifically and 158 all day, man. You guys can check the hourly. It's what it does, man. So I like to go ahead all, all throughout the day. And I always like to pocket one at like 140. If there's a 140 flat like this one, right? A 143 with a hunter. That's something that I like to always go pick up, right? But that's got to be, that's got to be, you, sometimes with these kind of cards, like for me, now that I'm looking at it, that guy hasn't been over 148 for the day today. You've got to adjust to the day. See how this is 130? Now maybe today you're looking for this guy in the 130s. That's kind of how this stuff changes and, and goes by the hour. So you guys want to make sure that you're always adjusting your prices and you're always kind of modifying and figure out when cards are a certain price and when they're not a certain price. That's kind of my best advice to you guys. Like this Alder Wild looks like he's like 190. There's a 190 on the market. So that one's pretty good, right? Because that guy earlier today, from what I saw, right? Yesterday he was 200, but this guy will be a 220 on rewards day. I already know that for sure. So if I want to hold till rewards, I can. I'm not really in the mood right now uh, of holding cards for a long time. Just so you guys know where I'm at, I'm kind of getting in and out of cards. That's kind of what I'm doing. And that's what I am enjoying. So, um, is, is this week a bad time to buy your team? Uh, it's probably still a little bit early. Um, you know, it's probably still a little bit early. I'm talking the top tier card. So it is probably still a little bit early on that side of things. You guys could probably wait it out just a little bit longer. I think if you guys can do that, uh, you'll be good. I think if you can wait one more week, I do think there's going to be a buyback, a big time buyback on the announcement of team of the season. So, um, I mean, that's after a week or two of that. That's after a few hours of that or something. So you're going to have to have, you're going to have to have the announcement, right? And then there's going to be a quick drop-off. There's going to be a massive drop-off, guys, I'm telling you, when when people, when Team of the Season is announced. But uh, to counter that, what I do think is going to happen, right, is just you're going to have prices getting to just absurd prices, right? So then they're going to they're going to naturally go back up. Uh, and, and that's how that's that's the theory of what will what will happen when EA announces uh, Team of the Season. That's just my take on it, guys. Um, obviously, my take is not always the correct take, but I like to think that I do get things right about 80 to 90 percent of the time. So. I think you'll have a big buy window when they do announce it. I just think the window's not going to be as big as you expected it to be. I think it's going to be a lot shorter, which is just something to keep keep your eyes on, right? I'm looking at this Lala right now. 216. 219? What was he last hour? 225? It was 235 yesterday. Was he 235 yesterday? It was 235 yesterday. 238. Uh, I'm going to go for that. I like that. I don't know. I might have skipped past him like 219s. There might be some others in the market. 225. There was a 216. 220. Yeah, I mean, that's not that good, but... That's kind of that's kind of what I'm doing right now, guys. I'm just kind of getting those hourly big undercuts, right? Moving on to the next one, and that's what it's kind of all about, man. It's about that efficiency right now. It's about who you're getting in in one hour and who you're getting out the next hour, you know. So yeah, guys. I mean, that's probably it for the video today. If you guys have any questions or comments, uh, put them in the comment section down below. Um, that's probably all I have for you guys today, though. I don't really have much else to talk about. I feel like I pretty much nailed everything in terms of what I wanted to get off my chest to you guys today and speak about everything, man. If you guys are a IX or Tottenham supporter today, uh, best of luck. Uh, I'm very excited for the game today. So that's going to be awesome, awesome, awesome to watch. And uh, yeah, guys, thank you guys for watching the video today. I appreciate it. And I'll see you guys in the video soon. Peace out.